tree that's planted by the stream So guide my steps, O Lord As I surrender my all to your will He shall be like a tree why did you change jobs? Like, oh, oh, oh. Like, what do you mean to do? I have to do where the money is because I don't have to fit it. Just guy. Sorry, guys. Sorry. 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 Okay, ah, but Edward, what have I done wrong? You've not been picking my calls for over one year now. You did not even inform me about your wedding, Edward. What's wrong? Well, I didn't have the intention of calling you either, but Mom said I should. I'm not happy with you, John. Ah, but what have I done wrong? Why? John, you mean you don't know what you've done? Was that the way to pay Dad for all his kindness and the things he has done for us? You despised his good intentions and his plans and you left the house. You know the Bible says we should honor our parents, but John, you know what you've done? You've dishonored your parents and I'm disappointed in you. I'm sorry. Edward, why don't you listen to my own side of the story? Why are you just... You heard from Dad and you're just concluding just like that. Why don't you listen to my own side? No, 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 John, I'm not ready to listen to you, brother, because you don't listen to anyone. You don't listen to anyone. What? Try and understand me. I'm only trying to do the will of God here. Do you remember back in school, I tried to make you see reasons why we should not be too involved in all this religious stuff. But no, 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 you insisted in doing things your own way. You are so adamant and you, you, look, look at what it cost you now. You dropped to a third class. You dropped to a third class, John. And you eventually ruined everything when I was expecting you to come to the United States. You blew everything away, so what do you want to tell me now? What do you want to tell me? I appreciate what that is doing for us. Edward, you are a child of God and I expect you to believe me. Believe you? Believe in my foot. Even God cannot be happy with you when you deliberately dishonored your parents. So how can I be happy with you? This, this ungrateful attitude must just stop, John. Edward. Do you know that the best thing that has ever happened to me since I left school was that result that God gave me in the university? John, what are you saying? What, what, what are you saying? That God gave you third class? Why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like this? Do you have to rub everything around God's neck? When God gave you brain to use it and you're not, you're not using it, was that God's fault that you failed? Was that God's fault, John? I know what I'm saying, Edward. I don't blame God, neither do I accuse him for anything. God allowed you to be where you are today because it's part of his plan for your life. And because God saw the good intentions for that. You know what, John? See, look, bro, I, I have so many things to do, so can we, can we make it fast? Edward, I know you are still angry with me, but I know what I'm saying. Even though it makes no sense to you, but it's the truth. I thank God for where I am today. I have no regrets. Wow, this is interesting, isn't it? Edward, I am deeply sorry if I have wronged you in any way. But you shouldn't have behaved to me like that. After all, we are still brothers. How can you neglect your one and only brother? I didn't mean to, but you know what? I don't understand. Anyways, how are you? I'm fine. Ah, Edward, I really miss you. Me too. I just can't figure out what was going on, but you know what, it's alright. How's everything with you? I'm fine. I'm doing very good. How is your wife? And I'm very sorry for not being at your wedding. It really pained me. I'm very sorry. My wife is okay. And we thank her for the wedding. So how is your sister? Ah, uh, she's okay. We, we met in the church. 
I mean the church I attend. She's a Nigerian and also a citizen. And she actually assisted me to get the papers though. Mom told me, congratulations. So how is your ministry over there? Hope you are finding time to do more of God's work. You know you are an ambassador of God in that land. You need to shine the light of God wherever you are. Yeah, I tried when I first came, but the life here is hectic, brother. Just be praying for me. I really miss you. I can't wait to have you back home. Yeah, I'll be home very soon, so I always work. Thank God, we're pushing it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So take care of yourself. All right, bye. Marigas, your wife. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I was. Rajan is not doing badly maintaining this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he's trying. He's really trying. Yeah. Okay, here's some bread for you. I guess you'll love some bread. Thank Will you, you prefer beverages? No, you got it. It's okay. John, why did you become like this? What? If you see her, I've talked to you and me about you. I told her you're a very good cook. It's fine, Daddy. Oh, you disappointed me. Samson, you know it is not easy when you're alone in the house to be doing cooking and cooking and cooking. More so, you didn't tell me you guys were coming. I will have cooked something special. You know me now. I understand. Thank you, sister. Mm. It's fine. And that is why I've told you to start praying seriously about your wife. It's brother Edward. He's married with a kid now. Don't worry about that, John. God will send our sister very soon. Sister Yemi, Samson knows the way I've been waiting on God and believing him strongly for a life partner. And he will hear our prayer soon. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, how is mom? Ah, she's very fine. She's doing okay. Edward and his family, they're coming to Nigeria in two weeks' time. Wow, that's good. Well, I and Pastor too will be going for um, a mission trip in one of the villages in Kenya in the next two months. What about your work? Oh, I'll just schedule my leave around that time and I, I think I'll be fine. Okay, I think we'll be praying for you. Ah, yes, please do. Uh, Sister Yemi, yes. please, beverage, butter, <laughs> let me get to you. <laughs> they are now in the country, John. Yes. Uh, how many of them? He and his family, of course. He, his wife, and their baby. The lady is beautiful, John. She stayed the same way she was during their wedding. I'm happy for you, Mom. <laughs> you are now a grandmother. Can you imagine? Just like that. Ah, so, when are you coming to greet them? In fact, Edward can't wait to see you. Well, tomorrow, are they in the family house or where are they? <laughs> Trust your dad. He has secured a duplex place for them, not too far from our street. Thank God for that. You can come home. My driver will take you to their house. Okay. Congratulations, ma'am. Come. Thank you. God bless you, eh? Bye. Big brother! <laughs> Yeah, that's how we roll, you know, that's how we roll. But that is a good job, I must commend that. You know, it's really cool. What are you doing? Why you look so big? Oh, look at that thing, guys! I've missed you, bro. Wow. Really, I've missed I you. I think you need Honestly. to hit the gym. Oh, John, you're trying to get it. Stop that thing, really. What's, where's your baby? Yeah, where's um, Jenny? Let me get Jenny. Okay. Baby! Huh? Wow, this looks so Jenny. cool. Jenny! Yeah, I love it. Wow. Oh, oh my Sister Jenny! Hey! Nice meeting you! How are you? <laughs> nice meeting you! Nice meeting you! Glad yeah. to finally put a face to the name. Yeah. Edward speaks so highly of you. I talk about you every time, bro. Every time. But you don't talk about me now. <gasps> but uh, sister Jenny, where's our baby? Where's the baby? Oh, baby. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, I missed you, man. Forget that. They love Oh, wow. There you go. Say hi to Uncle. Oh, wow. 
Say, best I look so much like me. Oh, oh, yeah. Forget that thing. Go go and find your wife and give her to your own child. This oh, guy is like, oh, this is oh, my baby right here, man. No, but really, that's true. <laughs> no, it does. Just tell me, baby. He <laughs> looks so much like me. Yes. Ah, yes. So happy. Alright, oh, thank so you. Nice to you and what? Alright, give it to me. Make sure you're rocking to sleep, alright? Okay. When I get your baby? I'm waiting on When I get your baby? Oh my god, it's a baby! So, John, how is your family? Oh, we are fine, we're doing good. We're okay. <laughs> baby, you're not serious. I meant your wife and kids. You don't understand, are... baby. He's not... I'm all his guy. This is a lonely man. He's not married. Oh. And he's not careful he's going to die single. <laughs> Hey. My bad. Oh, now I get it. You're not married. He's not married. But why? But why? I'm actually waiting on God. Oh, forget that thing. See, my brother is waiting for God to bring down his wife. I'm like, John, here comes your wife. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You, have this, you have a very weird way of doing things. You're you waiting me. for Jesus yeah. to bring you a yeah, wife? Yeah. For real? But, Sister Jenny, mm. that is what the Bible says. Oh, well, forget that thing. What did the Bible say? The Bible says, he who finds a wife, not he who God helps find a wife. Why did, why did God give us eyes and brain? You know, to, you know, up. Absolutely, that. June. Really? You gotta be proactive. proactive. You gotta do something, about, do something it. about it. Or aren't you older than Edward? He's older than me. He's older than me. The He's my saying, other brother. Oh, really? Yeah. So, your wedding bells gotta ring before we return to the state. Yeah, before we return right? to the state, alright? But Edward, didn't you pray before you proposed to Sister Jenny? And Sister Jenny, didn't you receive from the Holy Spirit before you accepted his marriage proposal? <laughs> what is he saying though? <laughs> Oh my god! That's how he rolls. That's how he does, man. Just, just bear with him. Just oh god! Take it easy with him. Take it easy. That's how he does. Are you freaking kidding me? No, no. Just, just, just take it easy, man. Well, I, Jenny, yeah. married Edward. That's right. That's because it. Because he yeah. is my speck. Yeah. What? What happened to love? <laughs> Go inside and get us something to eat, my friend. <laughs> so, John, no, let's talk. That was, um, um, that is yeah, it's been a profitable business concern. Yeah, Edward, welcome to my home for bones. Ah, uh, John, is this your house? Where do you even work? I thought you said they are paying you well. I can't believe in this kind of place. Samson was the one living here before I joined him. He got married and he moved to a better apartment. I'm okay here for now. I don't think I need a bigger apartment. Oh guys, stop that, stop that thing. Huh? I mean, you left your father's house to be living in this slum of a place. Why do you expect yourself to unnecessary suffering? This place is too degrading, I can't even bring my family here. Edward. Edward, point of correction, I did not choose to leave that house. Dad sent me out of his house and his company. What do you expect me to do? I expected you to stay in your father's house and, and accept the good things that God has provided for you through your dad. Do you know the house, that uh, the, the duplex that I live in with Jenny was furnished by dad? What's wrong with you? Why are you disgracing our family? I'm a child of God to so be a Christian, but guy, God did not call you to live a life of suffering because he's not wicked. Edward, Jesus told his disciples to go into the world and preach the gospel. He also said we should seek his kingdom first and all other things will be added. That is exactly what I'm doing. I just want to obey him. I just want to use my kids for the Lord. I explained this to dad, but he seems not to understand. How do you expect him to understand? Even I don't understand what you're saying. I may not know how to explain to you now, but I know that when I seek his kingdom first, he's coming to bless me. Edward, things cannot continue to be like this for me. I believe I am blessed and his blessing will soon manifest in my life. Guy, see, I'm not against you using your gift to serve God. I'm not against that. What I'm saying is that you're not called into that fully. Yes, I am not a full time. I have my work. But it's written all over you. All you think, all you talk about is serving God. Whereas some people are calling to that fully. Apostle Paul said something, said, how can they preach when they are not called? Even Jesus Christ said in the book of um, 
in the in the uh, that doesn't matter. What, what he says is that he called his disciples to God and preached the gospel because he has called them to do that, guy. Every child of God is called to tell others about the good news. And whatever is committed into your hand is given to you by God for the expansion of his kingdom. Be it money, post, or position. It's for the expansion of his kingdom. And don't worry, I'll soon pack out of here very soon. See, bro, this place is, is irritating me. I'm feeling disgusted already. Can we go to somewhere else? Maybe somebody an tree or something. Okay, there's an entry somewhere around. Alright guys, let's go. I can't stay here longer. See, I still desire to settle here. I love to bring my family back home. Yeah, the country is not bad, but I believe God has a special assignment for you in the United States. That's why he has invested a lot in you. And you need to be profitable with all these investments in you. God sent you there to be a light in the darkness and also to be an ambassador for him. And I think he hastened your steps and made your promotion very fast because the work demands urgency. Yes, yes, I know. We thank God for all those things I achieved in America, but John, my hard work is a major contributing factor. And God's mercies. Yes, yes, God's mercies. But look at it this way. The reason why God, you know, blessed me and blessed everything I did and gave me a good job was because of my hard work. So I'm in America to enjoy the goodness of God and not to become a preacher. So when I'm happy and blessed, it's all for the glory of God. The glory of God cannot come from disobedience, but in full obedience to God's instructions. Anything the Lord places in the hands of his children, be it promotion, riches and honor, it's for a purpose. Yes, I know. But do you know that if such a child of God refuses to be profitable with the gifts God has given him, God will take it away and give someone else. Wait a minute, John. What exactly is your problem? I mean, we are here to talk and to have a nice time and you are being all spiritual over me. Do you expect me to be like you? Do you expect everybody to be like you? Edward, the purpose of God for his children is to seek his kingdom. And that is what you promised him when you were traveling abroad. Have you forgotten? God is a covenant-keeping God. Please, don't wait till he replaces you. Are you cursing me? No, 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 I just want to know, are you cursing me? Edward, we are living in the last minute of the last hour of the end time. God has no time to waste with any unfruitful child. The evening time has come, and everyone in the market of this world is running home fast. The world is about to hit the end of time. The world is hit with the darkness. And what matters to God at this time is the souls of men. The power of darkness knows this, and they are struggling to harvest as many souls as possible into their own kingdom. And that is the reason for all the unrest and evil in the world. Edward, people are dying like animals. Pestilence and diseases are killing people anyhow. Satan and his agents are seriously harvesting souls for eternal damnation. Edward, we cannot afford to be quiet or seeking comfort at this time. Because nowhere is safe again in the world. We believers are the hope the Lord depends upon. God wants us to rise and preach the gospel of the kingdom and to use all our gifts to reach the world for him. We need to harvest the souls into his kingdom. Any child of God who fails to discover his assignment and be useful for the Lord may also partake of the agony that will befall the whole world. God sent you abroad to be his ambassador. I'm sure of this. 
the earlier you discover your assignment and be fruitful, the better for you. Brother, please. Um, please. Mr. John, thank you so much for your time. I have to go. You have said a lot, all right? Talk later. Be good. Oh, guys, stop that, stop that thing. Uh, I mean, you left your father's house to be living in this slum of a place. How do you expose yourself to unnecessary suffering? This place is too degrading, I can't even put my family here. Point of correction. I did not choose to leave that house. Dad sent me out of his house and his company. What do you expect me to do? I expected you to stay in your father's house and, and accept the good things that God has provided for you through your dad. Do you know the house, that uh, the, the, the duplex that I live in with Jenny? was punished by that. What's wrong with you? Why are you disgracing our family? I'm a child of God to so be a Christian. But guy, God did not call you to live a life of suffering because it's not wicked. It's not wicked. Father, I just want to do your will. Help me to follow you patiently. Give me the grace to wait. I know your thoughts for me are good, and you promise to give me an expected end. But please, help me to keep trusting you. Lord, please lead and guide my path. Abraham, your servant, was guided by you to pick the right woman for Isaac. Lord, I need a woman that we shall both serve you for the rest of our lives. I don't know. I am tired. I just want you to pray for me. From what I know and from what you have told me, you have a strong desire to serve the Lord. You have made a lot of sacrifices, including your comfort. I am tired. Am I okay? Am I not a fool to have taken this step? I think I'm a fool, sir. Hmm. Yes, you are. Sir? You just said it. Why did you say so, sir? You see, you have to be a fool to work with this God. Because all his instructions are foolishness to the human mind. Hmm. Have you noticed some things happening in your ministry recently? Like what, sir? Hmm. The anointing upon your life is increasing by the day. The gift of the Spirit is manifesting. People are testifying. Open your Bible to the book of Psalm 50, verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Mm. Many children of God have made covenant with the Lord, but they are not ready to pay the price. All your secret sacrifices is what is giving back to the anointing that you are enjoying now. Elisha did not get the mantle until he waited to the end. The sons of prophets were making jest of him, but he kept on following until he got the mantle. Brother John, don't stop. You know, continue being faithful. Continue to serve the Lord. Continue. He's, he's coming to reward you. It's going to reward you and it's going to honor you. Let us pray.
Yes. Sorry. <laughs> My dear. Oh? I can't take it again. This pain. Oh, this pain. How do you feel? Ah, oh, my chest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, sorry. 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 Ah, my God. Eh? Hey. Ah. ah. Sorry, eh? Hey. hey. Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Oh, sorry. Jesus. Sorry, eh? Sorry. Where is my phone? Oh, where is... Yes. Jesus. Hello, Mom. Hello? Why are you not sleep with? It's late in the night. I'm sorry to disturb you at this time. You see, your dad has been very sick. And the doctor has been on it since last week. But he suddenly developed a serious complication right now. And I don't know what to do, John. I don't know what to do. Ah, Jesus. What are we going to do now? It's late in the midnight. Anyway, Mom. Please, stop crying. The Lord is in charge. Are you with him? No. I just came out now to call you. I tried calling the doctor, but he didn't pick my call. Mom, the doctor must have been sleeping by now. Go to wherever he is. And lay your hands upon him. We shall both pray for him. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. I've called you. He wants to pray. He wants to pray. He wants to pray. Now you can pray. Yes, I'm with him now. Now, let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I stand in the blood of Jesus and I decree soundness and peace on your body right now. Amen. Amen. I command every spirit of infirmity to depart from your body and be destroyed by fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. For by the stripe of Jesus you are healed and delivered. Yes. Receive Amen. your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will see you early in the morning. I will come very early in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ah. Mom. Mom. So I've, I've gotten the ambulance to get that to the hospital. But I don't understand the kind of services they run in this country. Because this is terrible. You know, they couldn't release common wheelchair. Common wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I had to beg them and explain to them that this old man cannot walk. Give me ambulance. Let's, let's just... They, they didn't answer me. I mean, it's terrible. So, like, in fact, this kind of thing is very, very sad because this kind of thing cannot happen in the United States. In, in America, this kind of thing cannot happen. In, it's only in Nigeria you see this kind of nonsense. That's why they call us animals. Oh. Mom, it's sad. It's, it's frustrating. Look, look, where's that? I'm just frustrated right now. Just let's get that and let's start moving. What? <laughs> ah, mom, oh, no way, mom, mom, mom. You oh. called me and you told me that that, that yes, was... That. that I could not walk and that I could barely talk. That, um, obviously, you can speak, you can walk. So what am I doing here? What was, what's happening? Your brother called his doctor when our doctor refused to pick our calls in the middle of the night. You see what I'm saying? That doctor, I can bet you that doctor was trained in the United States. You can't find doctors like that in Nigeria. So this doctor of yours, was he, is he, is he a church member, a fellowship brother? He's not just a member of our church. He owns the church. General Vasya? Who is Dr. Jesus, my dear? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> he is the best doctor ever. I have never, ever experienced such healing all my life. Since the sickness started, I have been placed on sedative every night. I was always full of pains. We didn't inform your brother about the sickness initially. We only informed you. But just yesterday night, my body started reacting strangely and I could not sleep. I was having terrible pains all over my body, especially on my chest. That's when your mother was forced to call John. After calling you, when we could not hear from the doctor, the last thing I remember was that your mother entered the room, placed her hands on me, and said your brother John wanted to pray for me. So I had no choice but to comply. And that was all. I slept off immediately. Yes. And I could only wake up this morning without any pains whatsoever. I rose up from the bed to wake up your mother this morning because she had slept off by the bedside on the chair while watching me. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ healed me completely, my dear. It was a miracle. Dr. Philip later came this morning and he was surprised at what he saw. <laughs> Lita promised to come back and check in the evening, but he told your dad to make sure he raised that too. John, sir, I am very, very sorry for all I have done against you. I'm not convinced that your heavenly father has a special assignment for you, as you told me several years ago. It's not my fault. I just wanted you to lead a better life. Forgetting that God owns the world and the only better place is wherever he has planted his children. You have chosen the right path. Even when I didn't understand that your heavenly father had the ultimate plan for your life. I could have been dead by now. But God had mercy on me and overlooked my mistakes. Forgive me, son, for all I've done against you. Dad, I've forgiven you long before now. Hmm. I'd even told mom that when you sent me out of the house, you were pushing me straight into my destiny. Hmm. Just like when you sent Edward to the United States, you sent him to go and fulfill God's purpose for his life. The same way I am fulfilling God's purpose right here in this country. I've forgiven you, sir. Mm -hmm. Mom, to God alone be the Yes, my dear. Let's, let's pray together. Okay. Wow. Have a crab, man. Baby, I'm not going to take that from you. You can't just wake up one morning and change my entire plan. Well, you can't change mine too because I'm the head of this house the last time I checked. <laughs> Says who? Says the word of God. That's if you read one in the first place. Edward. You are really starting to piss me off. You're grating my nerves. Do not try to stop me or... Or else what? Hmm. Then what are you going to do? I'm warning you, Edward. You are in my Edward. country. You are in Niger. There's nothing you can do. Oh, no. I'm in control here. I'm in charge. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yes. Oh, we're in Africa? No problem. Suit yourself. But for me and my kid, we are checking out of this country this time next month. And there is nothing that you're going to do about it. Jenny, I'm begging you. Leave my kid out of this. Do you understand? <laughs> Leave my child out of this, please. He's not going back with you. <laughs> He's staying right here. Edward, there is nothing that you can do about it. There is no I am not staying here with you. Jenny, you're just let's calm down for a minute. Just sit down. Sit up. Sit up. Oh, sit, just sit down. Sit down. Oh, oh God. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? Think, just think. For a minute, settle down and think. What 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 is this you want? Is it not money? Huh? Now, I've just stepped in to leave all the opportunities that we have here in Nigeria and certainly in the United States. My father's company is right here. Not talk of the various opportunities that will come. This is my motherland and God has blessed me here. Jenny. Baby, that was not what you told me. That was not what you promised me when I first met you. Oh. You said God had a purpose for you in the States and that even your dad didn't mind you raising a family, that that was why I married you. 
and helped you with your papers. Jenny, things have changed. Things have changed. See, there are more opportunities here in Nigeria than the United States. Okay? My father is not getting younger. That company is a great asset for both of us. Do you understand? Now, very soon, it's going to hand over to John because he's already taking interest in John. Now, tell me, is that what you want? Do you want him to hand over to John? And what Do you want Jacob? him to hand over to John? What tell end day of yours is that? Isn't John your elder brother? Huh? Isn't he your elder brother? Besides, the John that I know is God-fearing, is calm, is gentle, and is going to send you your share of the company's profit. Woman, Besides, it's not after all these material things that you obviously want to die for. Woman, who do you think you're talking to? Are you out of your mind? Are you normal? Edward. Oh, it's obvious. Ah, now I get it. Oh, you want to stay back in this country so that you can be free to do all the gallivanting that you want. It's obvious you no longer have time for the kid and I. You know what? So to yourself, no, listen, you can rot here, to but me. I am no, not staying here with you. you can go to hell with you and your Jenny, nonsense. Jenny, you can leave if you want to leave, but don't inflict my child with this, this disease inside of you. I'm begging you, okay? You can do anything you want to do, but just hmm. get my child out of this. Then get ready for a divorce. What? Jenny. What? what you heard what, me right. What did you just say? You heard me right. A what? I thought you were a Christian. What kind of a Christian are you? Hmm. Jenny. Well, news flash. I understand what I'm doing. And God perfectly understands. The only person playing a fool here oh, is no, you, no, Edward. I should, you! I should give you a slap for that. I should slap you with a And you will rock and down come out of your mouth, Jenny. You will rock and you talk jail. about the boss. I should slap you right now. Yes. You foolish woman. What kind of woman is this? Oh my god. Hello, Jenny. I tried calling you people, but you and your husband refused to pick your calls. Where do you put your phone? Well. We are in the living room, obviously having the time of our lives. Hold on for your damn son. Mom? Edward, what is going on between you and Jenny? She behaved very strangely to me. Hey, you can hear that. This Jenny has a problem. She's possessed. Hey! No, really. Hey, hey, hey. You, pray for you us. are the yes, one that is possessed. Pray for you are Jesus. the one that has a problem. Look at are you a fool? You, can hear you must saying. be a fool to think you that I'm a fool. You saying. treat me oh. all the way from the States down to Africa and you think you can keep me grounded here? Well, this is Jenny. Mom. You are the one that has a problem. Is that not Jenny shouting at you? What? Oh, you think what is going on? And I am not I fool. Meet with bastard. Inconsiderate fool, idiot. She that called me a bastard. Now she called me a bastard. You know what she said? She called me a bastard. Oh my god. Oh. Mommy, I'm, I'm not in the right frame of mind right now. I, please just come back later. I, I can't talk right now. Yeah, son. You must be in Abuja by now. No, Dad. I'm on my way to the airport. I'll be there in the next one hour. One of my friends is a friend to the, to the minister. Is that why you are sounding so relaxed? I told you that was not necessary. I have already spoken with the man. And all you need to do is just go there and present our bid papers. I will do so, Dad. Oh, God. But you're already late, Edward. And I doubt if you would see the minister. You do not need to go through anybody. He's expecting you. You don't need to. Don't worry, Daddy. Everything will be okay. Greet Mom. Edward, what is wrong with you? Eh? And you know how important this contract is to us. Mom, I'm sorry. It was Jenny. You know, she hindered me from leaving on time. You say you will come last night. You refused to call. I called your number. Nobody pick it. Hey, Edward, I'm afraid for you. You are playing with your home. Eh? Hey? Uh, Mom, don't worry. I will see you later. I need to catch up with the plane, okay? Seriously, I don't know what is wrong with your son these days. He's so uncoordinated and un un unstable. This is the second contract you will lose this month. He's so careless. And I don't want to lose this contract, but he's already late. Daddy, Edward is not okay. Hmm. He's not okay. What is the matter with him? 
Can you imagine? After the already concluded the deal with the minister just to submit our bid, he is saying another friend will take him to the minister. Does that make any sense? Jenny is giving him problem. She wanted to go to the States with the baby. And she is threatening to divorce him. I spoke to her. And she said she got married to Edward on the ground that they would settle in the States. And Edward gave her his word. <laughs> you better advise him to go back with her. These girls can do anything for me. You know them. And I warned him before he got married to this girl to be very sure. Because the only language they understand is commitment. Baby, I'm home. Jenny. I know by the time you're reading this letter, my kid and I would have been in the States. Ah. We shall be expecting you within a no, month. No, no. If you still need us. What? Or else. No. Jenny. That's not possible. No. Lavani! 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 Come, 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 sir. Where's Jenny? She traveled this morning. She what? And she go with her picking. We just small. Why did you let her go? Oh my God! Oh my god! Oh my god! I saw this coming. Hold right, hold right. I saw this coming. Hello? Mom, it has happened. Jenny has traveled back to the States with my child. Yes. No, 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 no. Don't tell that. Don't, don't tell that. Okay? Not now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? Edward, you have to pull yourself together right now and stop all this. I can't pull myself together. What do I start from? Jenny's a devil. She's evil. No. Sorry. But do you know we lost the contract? Yeah. The man called your dad. He said you came very late. Oh. Why there are so many other qualified and companies? So you could not defend our company. This is Jenny's handy work. This is Jenny's handy work. I'm telling you, but that woman is a devil. When she made up her mind to travel back to America, she made life unbearable and miserable for me. She her actions affected me. This is Jenny's handy work. But you told me the lady is a Christian and a child of God. Of course, Mom. I cannot marry an unbeliever. The first time I met Jenny, she was very, very submissive and humble. She was even in the church choir. You know, I discussed with my pastor about her and he assured me of her spiritual commitment. Mm -hmm. But Mom, God of mercy, if you know what I've passed through in the hands of Jenny, she's evil. She's evil. You mean the same Jenny? Ah, Jenny. Oh my God, she nearly turned me to a slave in America. She's so lazy and she's so shallow in the knowledge of God. Do you know it's because of that I left the United States to come to Nigeria? Because I thought that at least she won't affect me with that domineering spirit here. But it's a different thing entirely. Husbands are slaves to their wives in America and women are always right, always right. So, but you said you contacted your pastor before you proposed to this lady? 
Yes. And he has showed me of our spiritual commitment, of our seriousness. That's the funny thing. But you do contact God about her. You do wait on God enough to lead and guide you. Answer my question, Edward. <laughs> now I realize my mistake. You know, I thought I was wise, but I never knew I was just a fool. All my life, I've always had a smooth journey. And I thought it's going to be the same for choosing the life partner. I have never enjoyed this marriage, mom. I was only suffering. I wish, I just wish there's anything in this world I wish for is that I just waited. I wish I was just patient. I wish I was just patient. Hmm. This is serious mistake, my dear. The Bible says in Christ, is life and the life is the light of men the world is full of darkness but those who abide in christ will not walk in darkness john always told me that i'm in the united states for a purpose but i went there and i took a different direction entirely i was just chasing shadows i wanted to make it at all cost every possible means and because of that, I forgot about my devotion to God. I was very cold in the spirit until that lady entered into my life. You know, I was just carried away by her spiritual activities. She's very spiritual and active, and I was, I was just. Was okay. <sighs> the secret of man can only be revealed by the Holy Spirit. But mom, what do I do now? What do I do now? She's just she's, she's ready for a divorce. What do I do? <sighs> I think we need to pray and commit our heart into God's hands. And I think you just have to go back to your wife. <laughs> you mean I should go back to Jenny? I should go back to Jenny? Ah. It is your marriage you are talking about here. Your home. You must be ready to tame this lady with the wisdom of God before she breaks loose. She can't do anything. Because she sees nothing bad in divorce. God hates divorce. And in order to be on the Lord's side, you have to humble yourself and obey the Lord till He has mercy and touches a heart. I don't even know what is wrong with me. I don't know what is wrong with me. That's okay. Who knows whether your assignment is still waiting for you there? Since you said God sent you there for a purpose. And you know, the call of God is without repentance. Have you informed John about, the, about this before now? No. No, 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 please. I don't want to involve John in my family affairs. That is where you are mistaken. He is your brother and a minister of God. He needs to pray for you on this issue and he will cancel you more on what to do. He may have contrary opinion on this, but I will advise you to inform him and listen to his counsel. Or you want me to inform him myself? No. I will tell him in my own time. I'm going to tell him, but don't, don't tell him yet. Sorry. Yeah, please send me the sales report for last week. Yeah, I need it urgently. Yeah, I need to send the final report out. Thank you. Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. How about the reconciliations? This is it, sir. Oh, okay. That's good. Hello, Edward. How are you today? Hello, John. What's up? Where are you? I'm at my desk. I'm actually in the middle of something. Um... I've been seeing your missed call. Hope all is well. How is Jenny and uh, your child? Yeah, they are, they are fine. Well, how can I see you? John, you're not saying anything. You are not saying anything. Edward, I think we need to pray about this issue. I, you, 
and more inclusive. It's a good idea, John. But um, how and when can we start? How about next week? John, next week. Can we start tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow is good. Yeah. Good. With three days fasted. Th what are you talking about? Three days in this in this serious matter. Three days is too small. Three days cannot undo anything. What about seven days? Well, I agree to seven days, but yes. we can tell mom to stop at the third day and we continue. Is she, is she complaining? So what's the problem with, with her joining us? No, she can be part of us. Edward, I hear you, but are you actually willing to obey God in this matter? <sighs> because God himself takes pleasure in our obedience, not just in sacrifice. He moves easily and does wonders when we do what he asks us to do. Yes, 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 I understand. That's why we need to pray. We need to pray intensively so that, you know, that, that, that woman, Jenny, so that she will come to her senses and, and, and come back to Nigeria. Edward, what came to my mind when you narrated everything to me was that you need to go back to the States and meet your wife and children. Your victory lies in you obeying God's instructions. Wait, 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 wait. Did mommy talk to you about me? No. No, she didn't say anything. Your assignment is still waiting for you over there. And you are going back to do it. You don't need to worry about your wife's actions. Because if you obey God and do what he says, he will handle your wife and even humble her properly. But you must first humble yourself before God. He sent you abroad for a special assignment. But you wasted a lot of time neglecting the work while you followed your own ways. When you get back there, you need to start afresh and you will be qualified for your next level. Edward, God's blessings for your life will meet you wherever God locates you. And you will enjoy his mercies and favor. If God is asking you to go back to the States, then that is where your blessings and promotions are. Not in Nigeria. He said it from the beginning that he is sending you there for a particular purpose. And if a man strays away from the will of God, he will still come back to zero point. And because God is a merciful God, he is giving you another chance. Ah, oh God, God. Oh God. Oh God. Edward, God is giving you a second chance. My Lord Jesus, I'm sorry, Lord. Please forgive me. Forgive me for my disobedience. Forgive me for neglecting your call and living a reward life in America. Oh, Father, have mercy on me. You sent some people to me in the church. Yes, you did. To remind me of your call upon my life. But I was just chasing shadows. Lord, pull me back on track. Where do I start from, Lord? Because I don't even know where to start from. So put me back on track, Lord. And I particularly pray for my wife, Jenny. Oh God, God, please touch our heart, touch her heart, Lord, change her life. And Father, I want to devote myself to you completely. I want to live for you completely, Jesus. 
I want to serve you, Lord. So help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me. A tree that's planted.